Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to Just My Thoughts and welcome back to this long, long, long episode that I've been, I've been procrastinating since like I think two months now. <laughs> I will upload, I will upload. I started this year with saying that I will Ta- I was going to say talk about... I was even with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. But, I mean, no, after that, I'm actually like... Did one more. No, I think one or two more, I, I guess. Yeah, but you only uploaded okay i mean one video on youtube one no. other video mm-hmm. it's not my fault but life, life well happened. he did say he wasn't yes. he wasn't guaranteed yeah so i mean welcome back again nancy yeah. at this point i should be a shareholder <laughs> because i'm back yeah. here again yep, yep, yep. <laughs> i should be a shareholder you guys should tell kenny to run me my check <laughs> Run me when my I sa- check. When I start getting the check, don't worry. <laughs> my smart team. No problem. So guys, how have you guys been? How's your mental health? How's <laughs> valid this? question? Yeah. You How are you are, feeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this on the streets is not easy on the streets. <sighs> it's rough. Very it's rough. very rough. But glory we to move. God. We move. God has been keeping us. Yeah. So today we'll be discussing a very like it's supposed to be a very like it's a broad topic I guess but we'll just be touching one or two. It's self awareness and I don't know what you think. What do you think? Let's start with you. What do you, think about you have this podcast. <laughs> Take the floor. <laughs> Take the floor. You no, know you, I will you, jump in when necessary. You, you in. Take the floor. Okay. Eh? um i try to 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 get i don't want to give if i okay i'll give my own definition and i'll give definition i saw online so the online version says self-awareness is the ability to see yourself clearly and objectively through reflection and introspection Mm -hmm. i don't know if that makes sense to you oh 100 percent yeah so for me, my own definition says me being able to see myself or be aware of how I impact my immediate environment, my opinion, because that's the only way I can know my wrongs or my rights. I don't think I would be it'd be easy for me to tell if I did anything wrong to someone in a very like far place or something. I mean my immediate environment can show or explain mm-hmm. my character or something i don't know that includes my friends my family so that's how i see it so me being able to to see myself do these things and be able to reflect and know okay i, I shouldn't do this anymore i yeah. should do this mm-hmm. i don't know what i mean you? i feel you like that hearing that definition where um it said um let me where it said um ability to see yourself clearly and objectively through reflection and introspection sure. and i mean when he told me that we should do this topic i'm like you pick the right person <laughs> i mean he was like i know i'm like it's okay yeah <laughs> like the ability to see yourself clearly be objective from reflecting and introspection the thing is i i when this topic came i was just like oh it's a good one i feel like I can say a few things about this because i mean we're always growing you know i'm sure like six months from now the values i have now exactly like how i feel about certain things would have probably changed and Mm -hmm. so constantly renewing your thought and renewing your mind is being self-aware and constantly working on things especially um things that I'm just like jumping in things that, <laughs> um, you know, you feel you can do better or just things that you, as that you just want to change because you want to change them. Yeah. Exactly. So being intentional is also about being, being self-aware is about being intentional, intentional about change, Yeah. changing your yeah. attitude, your, yeah. just things about you. And I feel like that I've been on that journey now for a little it's not been so long, but I feel like I've gotten to the point where I'm constantly checking myself. Like I, I said this, like I know when I mess up and 
I can hold myself accountable. Yeah. Like I messed up. I might not say out right, but I think my actions might start to reflect that. And I think that's one thing. I think my friends too, like, oh, they know me. That you know, I I tend to be objective. I'm like, if I mess up, I mess up. I mean. That that's just basically it. I don't know how to say it again, except maybe I don't see it immediately. But once I see it, I'm like, oh, okay, well, um, yeah, no vex, <laughs> no vex. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like being self-aware. Th- that definition I just feel is just perfect. <laughs> it's perfect because yeah. I don't know. It's just perfect because you know you got to be objective. You know you gotta reflect. Let's let's <laughs> let's let me see how to bring it down bring it down to the layman understanding or definition or explanation, I guess, because let's not speak too much grammars. <laughs> um let me give let me try and see if I give you an example. An example would be like of someone that is self aware. Mm-hmm. Let's say you are someone that is very playful okay and while you play like you you make some statements to people mm-hmm. you really don't mean these things yeah to be hurtful yeah like it's just banter living in the moment and you make the statement and first time someone is like oh don't do this and like that's wrong don't say that second time you're doing and be, you you put in like um, efforts in the sense that when even when you play you're conscious of the things you say yeah that is an example of someone that is self-aware in that regards i mean you're aware that you are you are your your words mm. everything your actions are can be impactful and can yeah. be hurtful mm-hmm. to people around you that's why when i gave my definition i said my immediate environment because that's okay. the only place i think i can know like that's he said show me your friend and i'll tell you who you are mm-hmm. that word that statement alone is mm. very deep because when you see when you even they say the bible okay not let me not say they say the bible <laughs> but they they always make these quotes about evil communication corrupts good manners oh it's in the bible it's in the bible yes corrupt see, if you listen to the word evil communication corrupt good manners it means your immediate environment would determine who you are, what you are, what mm-hmm. you can become. So that's why if the immediate environment is showing you or you can see a reflection of yourself from how you live, maybe you're around people that they don't want to play with you or they don't want to be around you because you're mm-hmm. already saying stuff that you learn to, to, to change these things. You learn to, mm-hmm. to reflect, to, to do better. And um, that brings me to my first question like well i have just like two questions i guess or three questions yeah like do you think it's important to get people's opinions yes i feel like it, it, it is because you're not going to grow if you're always right i don't think you're on a self-aware journey because if you you, ha- you definitely need people's opinions because and obviously people who know you to a certain degree they're the best set of people to tell you oh you do this thing and it doesn't really bother me but i can see how it can affect other yeah, people yeah, yeah. so at the back of your mind you're thinking oh, okay then this is something i have to be mindful of oh, yeah. this is something i have to be very conscious of when i'm dealing with other people and i mean this happens with me at least with some of my friends i'm just like what do you think do you think i could have handled this situ- i actually do this. do you think i could have handled this situation differently and knowing me i always use this question knowing me and knowing how i do you think i could have handled this situation differently and if they tell me oh they believe so i go back i think about it and if it's something i need to make amends i i try you know sometimes reaching out to people can be very uncomfortable true yeah so if it's something like oh you could have said this differently i'll definitely say oh i know i could have said this differently i know i could have so definitely reaching out to people them telling you is important because you're not going to grow without feedback true you will not grow true. without feedback it's not even possible 
good or bad yeah yeah but that's what that's what makes us who we are mm-hmm. like, like that's what helps us to develop ourselves and like looking at it from 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 this perspective where you're saying um you are going through stuff okay let me use myself as an example like a few months or like um maybe let's say last month or two months ago mm. like f- from that time to up till now yeah. like i've been thinking because i started noticing some patterns like in my lifestyle in, in mm-hmm. the sense that there's certain things i used to do that i stopped doing them and good things yeah good 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 stuff not bad <laughs> like so i i was so this is the point where this self-reflection comes in yeah i'm looking at myself like this is not what i should do this is what i should do like what changed and i started noticing that these things started affecting my immediate life in the sense that yeah. i started like things that maybe okay for me podcasting was podcasting was something i actually put into um like it was a space that i, I created for myself to Safe space. yeah to let things out yeah. And I started, I started bottling a lot of stuff. Like, even this topic, I've had this topic for like more than a month. No jokes. Like, I was like, <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it. I was like, can I do it? I don't even know what to say because I'm like, I couldn't. It started affecting me. Yeah. And I started noticing that if at all I was like doing these things I should have been doing, it would not show in my because now i started feeling like i, I do not know how to come back to be a podcast. exactly that happens like when you walk away from a certain thing and you have to go back it's just like oh am i sure i still have my exactly like, like I am i sure, sure i'm still interested in it in, am i exact, sure it's something i even enjoyed before oh as i, <laughs> I get that feeling 110 percent it's like well we do it we move we whatever move. like if you guys don't like it you'll be all right yeah <laughs> but, so like that's that was something that like i was like no 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 i need to i need to work on this i need to push myself let me come on on this let me come on the podcast let me say rubbish no problem but i need to do i mean something I, when i this thing you just said i i was just thinking of my friend because i was telling my friend oh i've been so busy with school and everything are you making excuses for yourself i guess no no <laughs> not even that i i literally just explained my schedule to you i was yeah. literally gone from like 10 coming back home and i have to be prepared for the classes next the next day so it's like youtube where youtube where so just like oh didn't you stockpile i was like i actually did but when i watched the videos i you made i'm just like this is so bad. This is not giving me, <laughs> and it's like I don't know. Maybe because my mind is just somewhere else. I just feel like I want to be doing videos on some Jackie Aina level. She's a beauty influencer. Yeah, no, I know oh wow! <laughs> I know Touché. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like I want to be doing things on those levels, but it's like, girl, you're not there. So why are you trying to fly before you even walk? So yeah, like that feeling. 100 percent i get it i get it <laughs> well true <laughs> so like um next one would be uh why do, why do you think it's important and to be self-aware yeah like i feel why like do you think it's important it's just important because like i said holding yourself accountable is one thing if you're self-aware i just feel like especially like when it comes to like situations now if you if you're self-aware about something if you're aware about something let's say with boundaries now let me use boundaries as the example because that is part of being self-aware like creating clear boundaries and when people know you and they know that this type of person you can't just do certain things to them exactly you just know there are some people that they're so afraid (laughs) it's not me (laughs) it's not me (laughs) it's not me but there's some people that they're so afraid it's just like they can't it's like they can't tell people i don't appreciate this and you telling them that it's not because you don't want them to be in your life it's just can you please treat me better true can you please treat me better said these things i don't like them please can you try and just remove them when you said boundaries like that uh, people people will know not to 
walk all over those boundaries because if you do there are consequences some you either get shalayed some people don't respect just boundaries like i've had conversations with, with people like and friends be like, yeah friends and they'll be like I are beg. you trying to say are, are you not changing like when you're trying to tell them that don't do this to me they're like oh you're, you're changing. changing yeah oh, like i thought we used I've to do this together that. i thought we used to do this like i'm telling you that i don't want it right now i don't feel like yeah that i want to entertain things like this but oh i did uh, i don't think i've ever had that situation oh i have sadly but it's all right. <laughs> <Say> sadly <laughs> yeah <laughs> but like i don't know it's that's last life for you oh. i guess i mean what can somebody do <laughs> <laughs> So do you think uh, what was the question you asked like wh- um why, why why is it important to be self-aware why is, let me ask you back why do you think it's important i've said boundaries i think for me the major thing i want to emphasize on is growth yeah, because that's there too, if true. you don't change your ways like you know they say your parents gave birth to you and they train you mm-hmm. so it's up to you now to take the training and it's not everything you learn from them yeah. that you would do. Many of us are never doing the same things our parents were doing. Exactly. That's so, so true. like, that is another way of explaining self-awareness or, or self-reflection. Mm. Or like, cause that's when I can see that, okay, my parents used to do this, so I don't want to do this. So like, that is you like yeah. checking, okay, you move this to this side. This is not me. This is me. Mm-hmm. So when you constantly do that without getting too, there's, there's this there's this word like without making it like a a, a medical problem i don't know where you start okay. to question yourself like, oh am i good enough no that's not that's not the issue here okay. it's not about making it like oh you have some low self-esteem you, you always want to work on this you always work, work on that Mm-mm. you in the process of being self-aware we should also learn to to give ourselves accolades like oh okay. yeah i did this exactly I want, i'm yeah. happy I'm, i did this okay i shouldn't do this tomorrow okay next time i'll do the ball i'll do better mm-hmm. no condemnation because yeah. this is you you're fighting this battle yourself it's just you and you you can't fight anyone any mistake you make in this process it's on I'm you sorry it's on you but yeah. so that's why you need to give yourself this like learn to to appreciate the things you have done learn to also learn from those things and do better if they, there's a need to not like it's not, if it's not you're not doing everything bad everything is good so it's just to learn so i think that's how there will be growth yeah in whatever you do because that's how you can learn to do things differently mm-hmm. and that's that's why i think it's important i feel like it, it, i'll just leave more emphasis on the, on the growth aspect yeah so the next and last one should be um like what are the benefits and also how do you think we can be self-aware like what do you think oh. you can give me like two i'll, I'll probably say, i hope we don't say the same things but i don't, know. <laughs> I don't okay. even know what to say now but just say something okay um how to become more self-aware yeah, like you were okay i think the one thing is getting feedback yeah okay. that definitely helps um okay asking people around yeah. you Oh, what did you think of not X, Y, and Z? Not, not just everybody, though. No, people around you. <laughs> you know, people, are, people, people around you. you. I mean, obviously, like, close, intimate people in your True. life. Some, somebody that's not like you come and say, you are a loser. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you deadbeat even when, monkey. Even when, you, even, when, even when you did your best. <laughs> exactly. Just you like, get you get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. That's true. So it's just like obviously people around you that mean a lot to you. Edge, yeah. oh, don't go and kill your mental health. Exactly. <laughs> so like getting feedbacks and being honest with yourself. I feel like a lot of people are not honest. Oh, they're not honest with themselves in like the role they play in certain things. And I feel like that's part of it. Like just knowing when um just knowing when you, you were wrong or when you were right yeah yeah i feel like that helps and the benefit of being self-aware is just confidence i feel like it will ooze out true it will just ooze out. when people see you and they know you're self-aware they just be like uh, and they will call you proud and it's, it can be communicable i mean in the sense that people can see you and want to 
to live like you're living in the sense exactly. that not in, not because of jealousy but because they see how you how, carry yourself yeah how organized how accountable and responsible because people that are not accountable are not responsible mm. in my opinion irresponsible this i don't mean in a in a um wayward way i mean responsible in the sense that me being responsible for my actions and everything i do mm. like that shows some sense of responsibility and also sense of belonging. Belonging to the environment, belonging to myself, knowing that I am in control of my life. I know how whatever anybody says, even if let me find out from them and say, okay, how do I how should I do today? It doesn't determine my life. I just want to get Yeah, it doesn't opinion. determine, but it's just like feedback. You know people that some people I know people is it is is both ways. Some people live on feedbacks. Because True. they want people to give them, like validation. Va- ex- va- that's the word validation. Validation. One, your, your feedbacks are not for validation. They are for you to get. Okay, this is what. Look out! Look at the big picture and yeah, just and say, like okay, okay, I can do better. Okay, I did well. Yeah, I did well. You, everything is not about you trying to do better. There it's are days true. where you did the best and you should get the reward for doing the best. So it's not every. You are not a, a failure. I mean, True. nobody's perfect. Whoever is even telling you that you did not do well, they, even the person self cannot say that they are they, they have the best character or best. <laughs> so like best in character. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's why I think it's better to even emphasize on that aspect that we're not you're not going to go and getting people's feedback yeah like oh to... oh yeah obviously true yeah. it's not that's what i'm saying it's like deep intimate people don't exactly. go ask all your contact list maybe they don't uh, wash wash uh, you uh, i bet good uh, did maybe I, they don't wash I, wash you did i talk anyhow <laughs> well, did i did i wear that shirt well did i mm, 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 mm. no th- i feel like that's different th- that is like seeking validation, validation seeking yeah. validation getting feedbacks for from like certain things like especially see when you're getting feedbacks from people you know there's probably a disconnect somewhere. It's just like saying, I want to be a better communicator. The reason I'm asking that is because I know there's a disconnect somewhere. Yeah, so yeah. that type of a thing is, oh, what do you think about this? It's not, please tell every me as, my... F- every sp- aspect of your life, yeah, true. true Let him not go and disgrace your outside. Don't do it. You're going to be giving you bad uh, advice, advice. telling you that this is what you're doing and that's not what you're doing. <laughs> so, like... So be wise. Yeah. Wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, else? like confidence is just like one thing. You just become more. It just shows, like, it just shows when you're a lot more self-aware. Yeah, you'll be oozing it, baby. And they, and they, and they will be, like, for me, from my own perspective, I feel like there'll be there'll be progress in everything you do. You because think? if you're doing business, you can now see the mistakes, because. That's when you can know, okay, I want to do it better here. I want to do it better here. And that is when, even if you're, even if you're doing YouTube, mm-hmm. and someone is telling you that, okay, you're seeing that your YouTube is not going like how you expected it to be. Yeah. Or how you have, like, dreamt about it to be. Mm-hmm. And you're asking someone, like, what do you think I'm doing wrong? The person's like, oh, I think you're not addressing the right uh, Topic. topics or you're not talking mm-hmm. to the right group or like someone is giving you that kind of feedback and like okay maybe i should try see this try who that would, yeah so that is and when you do it now you start getting good that's progress that's the kind of example like not i get but i, do, I really don't feel like self-awareness plays a part in like your day-to-day life no like things you do like, like business and all these things it no does, i just it does you think so yeah i don't know what do you guys strongly, think let us I know i don't I'm, I'm trying hard maybe maybe later i would connected but i'm just like trying to connect how if you're connect how being self-aware like plays a part with like joining business i understand obviously if you're in a business you you're growing with it but like trying to let me tell let me tell you something in, let in me this know. in look at this example when you you own a business mm-hmm. and you're doing something wrong everybody can see you're doing something wrong but you don't want to listen just because you have planned it, you have broken it, mm-hmm. you have arranged it in your room, thinking, oh, so man, my idea room. is the best. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, I know. I'm not saying that like, every idea you plan that way is wrong. Yeah. I'm only saying that when people are pointing out 
these mistakes and everybody's saying the same thing like oh no 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 you are, you are carrying your strong head and saying no i'm not listening to anybody it has gonna they are eating on me potatoes are going on potatoes until you close your business before you know <laughs> yeah that's like so like that is another example of someone that is not self-aware because when you're self-aware is there that's more a pride. part of if you're not self-aware you you think you know everything because you're not it, it, you're not open one, to growth. yes yes you're not open to growth you're not open to correction and all of these things will affect your immediate environment that's why i said business if personally you don't even know how to be better as a person how can you okay. make a business better okay i get what you're saying because that's when you will not listen to people and say oh she's just talking rubbish she's eating <laughs> no, she's just talking rubbish yeah, that's what <laughs> so like that's that's what i think and i i, yeah. I think i i, I get what it's you mean now. going to cover every aspect of your life i don't think it's just about you being a person and how you re- relate sure. to people it will affect because oh definitely a good person well, i was just trying hard to like to piece it, the yeah. two yeah so go deeper go deeper <laughs> yeah you tell us what you think i, I think what is your self-awareness for, for journey yeah. what has it been like did you have to cut people off in your journey to because that's another thing <laughs> you, yeah you might, that's the sad thing yeah you, because you will definitely have to because if you're with people that are way yes oh yes remembering you all the time my sister my brother you run run oh. and also if you're with the people that are always condemning, you're always condemning if... you too you should run <laughs> because you're not that bad or you're not bad oh can't say that about some people <laughs> 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 no, no, like for you it's the same like if you have people that are not always telling the truth fine no, it doesn't mean people that are telling you bad stuff are telling the truth too sure so when you already learn how to to this end i don't know how to use the word yeah, i don't want to speak too much english like you understand and you know mm-hmm. that okay i should listen to this person i shouldn't listen okay this person mm-hmm. says this i'm like okay yes you said it i would i would work on it no problem you sit down in your room and think okay should i do like this and also be prayerful i guess because yes that oh my god that can, yeah, that's that can, another thing yeah, yes be prayerful be prayerful ask god to direct yeah, you because god always direct your path then you would learn how is that not even our first point <laughs> ah, sorry but sorry lord <laughs> like be prayerful that is so important i feel like it starts from there like asking god to lead you lead you let him be the driver of your life amen somebody amen glory so thank you nancy for coming to this podcast i told you guys i'm a shareholder yeah you see i agree (laughs) next time but you see her with a group of people this time so it'll just be her they don't retire for me but it's all right (laughs) we pin yep 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 <laughs> so thank you guys for listening thank, thank you, you for watching and we will see you in podcast. another video or another or audio podcast definitely it's going to be an audio podcast too so <laughs> see you guys and peace out